Well, you guys remember this one here, right? The Xbot that I reviewed before, and it's actually a really good tracking gimbal. But now there has been an update. There's another one from the Xbot company, Xbot Go, that has come to my table. And gracefully enough, they sent this one to me. Yes, this is the all new Xbot Go Chameleon, the AI Sports Cameraman, Red Dot winner of 2024 just in case you don't see it in here i have the lava graphite version and this is absolutely a beauty i will tell you just in a second but right here you have a few things that you might want to see 120 degrees ai lens team sports tracking player tracking and there is no subscription fee I'm a big fan of that because we don't need to pay rent just to own something we already own. I hope you understand that part. Let's open it before we waste any more time. It is packed tight. So here is our chameleon. Absolutely a beauty and you'll see it yourself. So let's start with the remote. It looks similar to the last uh, version's remote. Uh, a little bit different color, I guess it would be. This is the other version, the gimbal. And this is the chameleon right here. Pretty similar, I would say. But I'm going to go with a new one that just came in, obviously. Now inside here, we have a USB-C charging cable. It's USB-C to USB-C. But hold your horses, because I'm going to tell you something else you can use this USB-C for. This is the beauty itself. I'm going to open it just in a second. And here we have some booklets, looks like. Let me take this out. Yep. And there's nothing else in the box except really nice packaging. So obviously I'm going to keep this package to actually keep the Xbox Chameleon on. Because it's a really nice one. And here is the king of the show for uh, today. This one is a camera right there. This is the turn on and off button. The battery indicator is here, the four bars, 25% each. So now there's a motor under here, so don't spin this by hand. And there's a motor right here that can take this camera, tilt backwards and forward, depending how you need, how you want it. USB-C, which is charging, and data. I'll show you in a second. And the Xbot Go logo in both sides lights up. These are uh, LED lights in both sides. And now the burning question from a few comments that I've seen so far in other videos is does it work with uh, a computer as a webcam and the answer is yes i tried it on windows 10 at least that i have it worked right away i didn't need to install drivers or nothing it was recognized as a camera and yes i saw myself and it's quite a wide angle so if you're a streamer you can get it for that too but i could not figure out how to make it track me without the app on it but hey maybe i'll do that uh, at a later video that might be a good one for streamers that move around the room to have this directly to the PC. But besides that, we have a standard mount here for uh, tripods and whatnot. And as well, there's a mount right here on top. This is a whole mount that you can actually place one of those tiny stick mounts for a phone and put the phone up high. Or you can put your phone here in this claw right here. Let me grab my phone real quick, which is nothing fancy, just a Google Pixel. And usually I'm going to put it like this and you just close the clamp just like that. And now you are ready to go. Look at that. But first I'm going to turn it on and show you from a different angle. So you see what goes on and how it looks. So just give me one second and this will be your angle now. Okay, so here is what we're looking at now. This is the Xbot Go. Let me just go to the app. Yes, you have to download the Xbot Go app. It is free. You don't need to pay anything. There's no subscriptions. As we mentioned before, you just have to turn on Bluetooth, click add device. And when you turn on the Xbot Go holding this button right here, you'll see that it will appear here on your screen in just a second. It bows to you to greet you. I like that. It's a good touch. Very clever Xbot. And before we go anywhere, let me show you the lights on the side. That's absolutely beautiful. And they're both like that in both sides. On this one and in this other side as well. And they stay on like that as long as the Xbot itself is on. But let me turn it right here. And we'll do just a quick test. You'll see probably a lot of mess back here, but who cares? Okay, click to connect. Confirm. 
and it is connected now it says like back and we just go here to the recording i'm gonna do just follow me because i have nobody else here follow me again and start recording that's just the preview stuff and it's recording towards the back because i placed the phone towards the back but let me just spin the phone around because I wanted to just show you how it looks first. And in order to start recording without actually uh, touching XBOT itself, you just have to raise your hand in front of it somewhere in front of the camera. And you will see that it moves and that it starts detecting you. So let's try that. And I'm raising my hand right now. Boom, as you saw, that's an indicator that it actually found me. And it should follow me to wherever I go. And right now I'm actually moving around the room. And it's uh, following me. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You saw it yourself moving. So, yeah. As you saw it yourself, it actually followed me everywhere I went. And it even did the tilting when I tried to trick it to go up and down. Boom, it caught me right away. And I absolutely love it. So let me go back and add the remote because, you know, it's easy to get uh, <laughs> caught on this one having fun. Let's get here a crusty Uncle Sam screwdriver. Boom, like that. And we have to remove this uh, tab right here. So the battery makes uh, contact with aliens. And then we put it back on, just like it was. Uncle Sam again. Boom. And now the remote. We have to hold this button right here. It's the power button. Hold it for a little bit. It will, you'll see some lights. Okay. And now the remote is on and it showed up in our screen right away click to add and we are connected right away as you see let me see and yes we can rotate with the remote as you see right here it actually works pretty good let me tilt it up and down real quick look at that boom let me tilt it the other way and it works without a problem at all look i'm going full tilt boom i really like that look at that so let me switch to this is the camera so if you click here it should start uh recording as you see here click it again you stop it recording obviously and if you go here to this one here it takes a picture take a picture boom it took that picture and next one was the gimbal style that we just showed in a second we go the other way okay and the last one is the recording thingy here that keeps track let me just hit record and you mark it that's what the last one does so you mark somewhere in the recording where you want to keep something for example almost like in dash cameras that you have that lock the footage thingy you hit this here when it's on uh, mark on the last one and hit OK and it marks that uh, moment. This is really beautiful. I really like it. So yeah, this is a uh, Xbot Go Chameleon. Really, in my opinion, at the moment, there is nothing else on the market that I would say does the same as this one. Not that I have seen at least. So, so we'll see you on the flip side. And as I said, don't forget, this is a camera. This is not just some sign of, kind of sensor. This is a camera that if you plug it to the computer, it will become a webcam. A very wide one, but it becomes a webcam. So see you in the field.